Oh boy, it's been a while. Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial slash construction on a LED mod. Now I think this is like almost accurate to how it's supposed to be made, but yeah, so basically what you need for this is the main things are these caps. They're called Brilliance LED uh, pens, I think. And as far as I know, like you can get them off um, penspinning.kz, which is a Russian site. Yeah, and that, the site's amazing because it has like a list of tutorials and stuff. Um, and they sell cool stuff, so go check it out. And you uh, you also need a super tip barrel and um, just other stuff like uh, grip grips and tips. Um, but you can probably vary the tips and weights because it is quite a heavy mod. So yeah, I guess first what you want to do is get a super tip. I guess For example this is one, and then you want to like cut off the ends as well as um, pull out the black plug, um, remove the ink and etc etc um, and then after you have that I guess that that leaves you with this like double barrel um, thing body that you will use and then these caps right okay so these caps should be longer when you get if you get them off the website and they have clips on it, so you have to take off the clips and trim it down. So there's the LED side, and then there's like the cap side. You have to trim it so that you have... Uh, I don't know how to explain this. Um, more of the LED side, for example, like this is the LED side. You should have this um, white ring around it. You want to unplug that, and but there's this part that you want to keep and put back inside the LED. Um, which is this small like ring around here. You want to place it back into the cap. Yep. Uh, I'm not actually sure how it looks like because I bought this off while well, I traded with someone from my school, which I had no idea of Penspin, but apparently like there are people in my school at Penspin, so I was like, what? And um, yeah, so the cap should be around. Um, 3.8 centimeters, something like that. I think you can vary the length, but that's the length of mine, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then after that, right, um, you can stick like a cap onto the super tip. And you might need some like uh, tape to do this. Um... I cannot find my white tape. Uh, never mind, I'll just use scotch tape for the time being. But basically, if you have some like white tape or something, wrap it on the like ends of the barrel. Like, measure how much the cap is going to sit on. For example, like up here. And then wrap like tape around it so the cap fits on the barrel. This is the, um, the, f the tip side, by the way, like the thinner side on the super tip. So yeah, and then you want to get a knife and then trim off the exit excess. And um, just trial and error until it fits like nicely, like this. There you go. And then that's how the LED works. And then for the other side, um, I'm not actually sure. Oh wait. No, because the um the L real LED mod uses two super tips, which are just joined at like the ends, using like uh, a piece of bic and then trimmed down. But I don't have, I don't know, I can't be bothered to use another bit of Crayola super tip. So what I'm going to do is um, create like a back plug using this, um, which is like a smaller body marker that I found from the dollar store. So. Yeah, what, the cool thing about this is this um, marker body is a little bit smaller than the Crayola Super Tip. So it like fits like really quite well as a back plug. You just need to put some tape around it. 
So what I do for some of my mods, use like a knife or something to like trim down and make a back plug so that um, it fits. Now that I have that, I'll sand it down. fine for now okay so um, after this I guess considering that it's an LED mod this um, place where the tip used to go needs to come off because the LED needs to shine through there. so there like that If you can't be bothered to do this, and uh, you have a spare super tip, I suggest you probably go that way. Just like, get like a piece of Bic and connect the two super tips at, from the back end where the back plug was supposed to be, and then just trim down your barrel to fit the size. If not, just do it this way. Okay, see now, like this back plug now fits inside, and we don't need this anymore. So we just put tape around the stock or face. My desk is messy. And then yeah, now it fits into the back and then Like a back plug, except with like hollow at the top. Now we can put the LED on, and then we just have to, I guess, still sand it down a bit because it doesn't have a clean fit. I can't find my high grit sandpaper. Oh, and also a good thing about these barrels that, like, they're cheap, right? And they also cut really easily, because they're made out of like cheap plastic, so... Yeah, not the greatest for like making barrels for like spinning, but yeah, definitely this is one use. So yeah, that's about right, just like a bit more. Yep, now it's perfect. Let's just clean it up. And then now we just, again, put some tape on the created back plug. And then trim off the excess tape.
Stop like that. Yep, now it's like a perfect fit. Okay. And so now that this is done, this is the base of, I think, pretty much like all LED mods. So this is like the base structure of it. Yep, works. And now we're just going to add some Dr. Grip tips and grips onto the ends just to give it a bit more. And there you go, that is the LED mod construction and tutorial. So, um, yeah, right now this mod is like really heavy because the batteries inside give it some mass as well. So yeah, we should take a look at what this looks like in the dark. So as you can see, it's quite bright. Um, yeah, but like obviously it's like not nighttime where right now. And uh, yeah, this is like way brighter than the dollar store LED mod, and yeah, definitely better. So yeah, definitely if you want an LED mod, go get these LED caps from HeadspinningKZ. Dot KZ, and uh, yeah, that's like me for now. <laughs>